All right, here we are. This is Kyle Hannon, the world record holder and doing the most chemotherapy and still surviving. It's spring break for the kids, so we made our first day out in the pool. They played some basketball at the park, so they got hot first, so they're good in the pool right now. You can see them where there. One guy's in the hot tub, actually, and one's in the pool. Ah. All right, just an update on me. Uh, <clears throat> been a little rough, had some good, good amount of suffering the past few days. The shingles have been pretty painful. Um, <clears throat> can't tell if it's the medication, cancer activity, or the shingles, maybe all of them, making me real tired, kind of dizzy, very weak, kind of goes in waves sometimes. Sometimes it's even been hard for me to <coughs> walk or stand up in certain times. I'm just very tired, have to rest, really try to prioritize my time for the boys. So the kind of shingles I got, and because of the GV GVH, a lot of things that happen, the GVH, um, goes to the, the uh, my body, my cells, my donor cells, my immune cell system tends to go at things underneath. So that can actually magnify the problem. So I have shingles kind of like inside of my my skin right now. Um, and it's, it, what it's like is it's very painful, it's pinpointed, it goes all the way to my, my neck, kind of comes, uh, uh, sends, sends out from the spine, from my, my neck, and then it goes into one side, generally shingles go to one side of the body because it's, I forget the exact explanation. It's a very, sometimes it's very specific, sharp, very sharp pain. Um, like somebody's just grinding a screwdriver or something in there. And um, other times it's more of a dull pain, like a baseball bat's being hit from the inside. And kind of tingly over the side, itchy, very itchy. Feels like the chicken pox, itchy and pain painful all over the skin. It feels like it's kind of spread some, but I think we've got, we're getting under control with some high, high dose medication. Um, and it's kind of been nice to sit outside, but I do have to be careful of the sun too, because GBH can kick, kick up. But I have learned that I do need a certain amount of sun. So if I don't get any sun, that can tend to backfire on me in some other ways with calcium and vitamin D. So I've learned everything I do, I've put a lot of time and thought and study into it. Um, so sometimes it's just good to get outside. We're now with a lot of wind blowing, so there's no dust to worry about. When my immune system down, that can kick up the allergies. So I just gotta be more careful when I'm fighting off multiple things. And um, overall, God's in charge of the immune system and all the thousands of variables that go into it. Um, I could get into the immune system for a while. People think they know about uh, the immune system, generally they don't know. If somebody says they know, they don't, because if you talk to the most experienced immuno immunologists, they will tell you, one of the main things they'll tell you is they don't fully understand the immune system. They will tell a lot of their answers will be, I don't know. <laughs> so all of these diet fads and all these things that they say boost the immune, immune system, I can tell you from life or death, personal experience, it's a load of malarkey. There's definitely some things that can help your immune system. <clears throat> One is reducing stress, and, and goes, that goes with that is, is rest, sleep and rest. And with sleep and rest, you need exercises. So those three components, stress, exercise, and sleep are probably the most key. After that, just a moderate, healthy diet. Not one way too crazy or another. You don't want to be eating a bunch of sugar all day long, and you don't want to go crazy the other way and just eat vegetables all day long. That tends, in my opinion, not to work very well overall for the immune system. Uh, especially when you're battling something like this. So uh, everybody's different, of course, so something that works for you might not work for another, but um, those are, in general, uh, truths for what really boosts the immune system. After that, it's, uh, it's really just um, a lot of its genetics, a lot of its environment, and um, some of its time and chance. Um, so this Wednesday, we're gonna, hopefully we'll do chemo, um, the issue is right now is we had to cancel the chemo because if we do a chemo it can make the shingles a lot worse. So one of the, the problems we're facing is the graft versus host. With the shingles it can make it manifest in a way that's not usual that it happens. So it can get worse a lot quicker. Um, I'm constantly living in the state of something could trigger the GBH. I've known 
people that are otherwise completely healthy, young, and they had added, been getting over a bone marrow transplant, donor bone marrow transplant, and they get a little cut, and that cut turns into an infection, and the GBH kicks in, and their body can't handle it, and they don't make it. So things like sunburn, a cut, or shingles are a huge threat to me. So we don't want to do a chemo and have the shingles get worse and have something, the GBH go get spiral out of control and take me out. So these are all things that require a lot of prayer, a lot of hard work, a lot of paying attention, a lot of rest and taking care, taking care of ourselves. And, and I've had some few questions about the last video. It was kind of, people were like, oh, what, what was going on there over what period of time was it? I was shot mainly over the last month, maybe over the last couple months. And I was kind of de demonstrating in there how quickly things go up and down. So over that time, I get, get myself into some trouble for a little bit and then kick out of it. And the whole time, just keep working through it all. Um, this one's been a probably a bigger challenge. Um, I think that if I was earlier in my treatment or if I was a normal healthy person I'd probably be getting treated for the situation in the hospital but over time I've learned to push through stuff and <clears throat> learned how to take care of myself and call on people to help me when I need them <clears throat> and I'm fortunate to have that help and um, really really it was amazing uh, this Saturday I was having such a tough time and I received an outpouring of uplifting, encouraging prayers and messages from my NCC family and that just felt so good. Um, it's been hard to read. My vision hasn't been affected too much. If I overdo it with looking at things, um, it does start to get to my eye a little bit. Um, it's a combination of the GVH and the shingles, I think, so I've been careful there. Uh, I did do a cold plunge just now and man, it made me tired, so pretty. I'm probably just going to lay down and sleep here <laughs> right now. Um, I've been sleeping quite a bit and um, just trying to take it easy and put all my focus and time and energy into, into the boys and time with the Lord. And uh, again, thanks for, thanks for joining in and teaming up with us and uh, we just give you so much thanks and love and um, hopefully this is an encouragement. I don't, I, again, I don't mean to sound like I'm I'm complaining, definitely not complaining about this stuff, just making updates about the reality of what this is, how I get through it. Um, it's It's been relying on a lot of time with the Lord. I spent, last night I woke up, I had a lot of pain, two, three in the morning, so I put on the earbuds and got into some worship music and um, did a lot of prayer in between it and kind of maybe drifted off to sleep a few hours later off and on with some pain. and. Um, that's one way I get through it. The other way is to take the focus off myself and, and um, just try to think about others and try to love them. Uh, keep moving. If you're, so if you keep yourself moving when you're battling something, then you're, you're eventually going to be too tired to, to feel crummy about something and let your mind get too frustrated. So that's one thing. If you get stuck and you're just too frustrated and feel isolated, get moving because that's, that's how it's at least with this. If I get up and I get moving, I make myself do it, and it's been tremendously difficult to even move sometimes, even to walk. Um, I know my rest is gonna be better. <laughs> so that's one tip. And through it all, you just, you just try to smile, and you cry when you gotta cry, and you give praise to God, and you just try to keep moving forward, and. You know, make mistakes along the way. I've had my moments where there was a dark cloud over me or it just, just had some crummy thoughts, but you just push through it and you keep working hard. And that's all I got. So thanks for watching. Here we are. Letting loose with a ridiculous dancing. What is this? <laughs>
this one. 